What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% playthrough for Final Fantasy 7. We are on part number 23 right now and uh, well we're really really coming up to uh, to the end of things. It's like in the uh, the last video we did the underwater reactor, a few little uh, bits and bobs. Uh, we kind of went to space, you know, it, it was nice, we could see our house from there. Um, and we got the last of the huge materia. So now we're basically just going to continue on the story a bit. Uh, do a couple more optional things, because, uh, well, we haven't done all the optional stuff just yet, mainly due to the fact uh, we haven't unlocked it yet. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think maybe probably just a couple more videos, to be fair, until, we're, until we actually get done. Because there's really not that much left for us to do. It's like there's Midgar, um, there's Mastering the Materia, there's Northern Crate, uh, and there's the weapons, essentially. So, yeah, there's really not a whole lot left. So let's just uh, let's see how quickly we can get through it, shall we? Oh wait, no, actually, I've still got a stat max. I completely forgot about that. Well, nice, nice, even then, that that shouldn't take that long, really. Something buried or something forgotten. I, I never forget anything. It must be there, look harder. Exactly, it's like if you can't find it, just look harder. Ring ding ding. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to get all the limit breaks as well. Actually, that PHS ringing like actually reminded me of that. I've not got all the limit breaks yet. And I suppose hitting level 99, all that'll come while stat maxing anyway. I remember Aerith a lot. You you haven't forgotten exactly. Why would we forget Aerith? She said she was the only one. Yeah, she was the only one, guys. She was the only one for Cloud. She might be gone, but at least she saved the world. I have to admit, though, I'm really curious what they do with Aerith in the remake. Really curious on that. But we have a few years to go before then, unfortunately. I must admit though, I'm kind of curious how many parts they're going to do the remake in. It's like, I know the leading theory is free, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking they're going to do more than that now. We're carrying around huge materia. Keep it safe? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, one thing I should probably mention as well, actually, for the uh, huge materia, you can get the Bahamut Zero Materia from it. However, in order to get it, you have to have all four huge, huge, huge Materia. So you can't fail any of the uh, the Materia missions. However, if you, you, you do fail the Materia missions, you, you can actually still get Bahamut Zero. Oh, I should probably mention, you actually need to get Bahamut and uh, Bahamut Neo as well. Definitely should have uh, mentioned that. Um, but yeah, like if you fail, fail uh, like, like any of the mechanics to get Bahamut Zero, you can still get it. You just need to go to the uh, Bone Graveyard and dig it up, basically. So it's like this particular material is not missable, despite what a lot of people actually seem to think. Wait, why do I only have three here? Where's my red one? Where's my red one? Huh. That's weird. Because, I mean, the red is... It's like, the fact I've got the blue material means I didn't miss the red. So why is it not there? That's really, really weird. Because it's like, normally if you fail one mission, you end up with yellow, green, red. And if you fail nothing, you get all four, with the blue materia being the last. So with the blue there, it's like, I know I've not failed any, so I'm not 
really sure why it's not there. You know, I'm gonna go back to Cosmo Canyon and look at that actually. Because that's, that's really, really weird. Oh, and my chocobo is all the way over it to Cosmosmo Canyon as well. Uh, yeah, I'll just land here. Put new battles on. Okay. Yeah, I, I really can't understand why I've got the blue but not the red. That is incredibly weird. It's like, I know for a fact I've done all of the uh, huge materia side quests. I know that for a fact. fact. Unless maybe it just doesn't appear during that cutscene? It's not even letting me use it. There we go. Alright. Come on. No, the red's not here. What the hell? Okay, that's really, really weird. Yeah, I, I really can't explain that. Oh, wait! Did I get the materia from the, sink and, uh, the sunken source up? Maybe I didn't get that. I should have done, though. I'm really sure Wait, is the sunken source of the red materia? Um, you know, I'm gonna head over to my choke, uh, my sub, and just double check that. Because that is definitely really, really weird to be fair. <laughs> well, maybe it was the rock one. No, because you have to get the rocket one to um, advance. So it probably is the sub one. I could have swore I got it though. Now I've just got to be careful of uh, emerald weapon. There he is. Then I've got to try and remember where the sub crash is. Uh, there it is. There it is. Okay, yeah, so I, I kind of just forgot the song. That's alright then. Now I've got it. Now I've got it. I could have swore I got that originally, though. Oh, well, I guess not. But we have it now. We have it now. So I can take it back. In fact, while I'm on the Chocobo, I'm going to stop off at the, uh, the gold source. Because there's actually a few material I kind of forgot to buy. Namely, the EXP Plus Materia, which I definitely want. And then once I've got that, it will be time to uh, continue on. on. Because coming up, i uh, got to do the... Well, I've already got the Key of Ancients, so I've got to go to the City of the Ancients. And then it's uh, Diamond Weapon and Midgar after that. And then we'll have to do Ultima Weapon. And once we do Ultima Weapon, we can finally come back here for the uh, the special battle. Alright, I need the wonder. It's like, I can't wait till I, uh, we do the special battle though, because then we get the final attack materia. Which is really good. I have 5,000 GP. That's more than enough. The only problem is I can't remember which one was the materia, so... That, okay, that was one. Uh, 1,000 is... yes. Okay, and then, and, then, and then the 500 is just a nut, I think. Let's just double check though and buy it anyway. Yes, it was just a nut. Okay. You know what though, I'm gonna remove all materia. And then we're gonna redo it. Especially because I need, uh... Well, some materia growth coming up. And because we're gonna earn so much AP in one go, I'm just going to go with uh, double growth. Right, okay. So, arrange. 
And right, so for triple bull bull growth, I definitely want Knights of the Round on triple. Because Knights of the Round is definitely the uh, the biggest pain to max, so I definitely want that on triple. Uh, same with Bahamut Zero and Typhon actually. And then for double growth, we'll have a HP plus on each person. I'll throw on EXP plus as well, just to help me get to level 99. And then uh, we'll start working on everything that I actually need to max. In fact, I'm not going to use Ultima. Well, yeah, we'll use Ultima there. Same with Full Cure. Right, so Contain, Destruct, Time, and Comet. Barrier, Gravity, and Exit. And then I want another HP Plus. So I've got to start working these. Right, another Triple Growth. So for this triple growth, I want to use the other more expensive uh, things. So I'll go double quart and mine. Yeah, because they're both pretty expensive. And then we'll go back to magic. In fact, I think I already quoted all my magic. No, I haven't. Saying that, that only needs 3,000 to max. I'm not going to use that. That's kind of a waste, to be honest. Okay, in that case, we'll uh, stay stick stick on the yellows that we haven't maxed. Uh, done sense? No, no, I've not done sense actually. Okay. Right, let's go then. Let's go, because we have a boss battle coming up. Uh, station. And now we have pretty much all of the materia apart from final attack and the materia you get from Northern Crater. So we're on our way to uh, to 100% now. This thing says though, I gotta go to the Forgotten Capital. Which is gonna be fun. I gotta try to remember how to get there actually, because I don't think I can land the airship there. Or can I? No, actually, I think, I think you can land the airship near it. I suppose we'll see though. We'll see. see. Right, so uh, where's my airship? Where's my airship? Uh, oh wait, yeah, it's over at uh, Cosmo Canyon. I'll put my chocobo in it as well. Right, Forgotten Capital. Up north. Uh, somewhere around here. Here he says. See, I knew it. I knew it was somewhere around here. Okay, and then we take the left path, I think. I think it was the left path anyway. So we need to go to the, uh, like, observatory thing. Yeah, there we go. And he's just floating along, which I, I can't. Ooh, uh, maybe I should have gone the right path, actually. Yeah, may maybe I should have gone the right path. That's no good. Can I get along here? Ah, yeah, I can. No, I can. There we go. Hey, Bogan. How you doing, buddy? The planet's in crisis. Eh, it's not that bad. Holy, the ultimate white ma magic. Meteor, weapon, everything will disappear. You know, I've never understood that. that, that. Like, I don't get why Holy would um, get rid of the weapons. Like, Holy is essentially the planet's ultimate protection spell and that, but the planet created the weapons to also protect it. It's like any time then, then, that something the planet fears arrives, you know, like in, well, for FF7, for instance, the uh, the case of the weapons appearing is because of Sephiroth. Like, the planet detected what threat Sephiroth is, so it basically awoke the weapons that it created. So it's like, I don't get why Holy would get rid of weapons. It's like the planet should technically just put the weapons back to sleep. It's all Greek to me. No one can read it. There's a note written in chalk. Key in the music box. Yeah, we, we have it. We have the key. It's like we already had it, man. I'll go use this key. I mean, see, that does not look like a music box. No, 
know how it kind of does. But originally when you see Boogerhagen going over there, it does not look anything like a music box. From water, taking a shower, man. Okay, let's go find out that uh, Holy's already been used. And there we go, that's Holy. That's Holy. It's Aerith, guys. She's back. Come on, Aerith, wakey wakey. Come back to the party. Please. I, c I can ho hope, right? I can dream. And then there's the materia. Man, making me relive this moment. God damn you. God damn you. And Cloud's just like, no. It's a pale green. Yeah, so it works. She was the only one quit stopping to do that. There was a secret here. That was holy. My question is, though, why did she have to come here to use holy? It's like, materials shouldn't really require a very specific place to use. Well, they're saying that maybe she needed the, um, the live stream at the bottom of the capital. Maybe. Yeah, that's my guess anyway. Because it's not ready yet, Cloud Out. Holy isn't ready. Okay. Bye, Boogan. So, off to fight weapon then. I was a little surprised what happened. Yeah, I had to move to Midgar. Midgar, obviously. You know, rather than using it to fire at Sephiroth, you'd think it'd probably be a smarter idea to fire it at Meteor. It's like, just my guess, anyway. So it's like, killing Sephiroth wouldn't actually stop Meteor since it's already in the sky. That, and as we, uh, we find that out at the end of the game as well. Oh yeah, I should probably mention I'm going to fight a, uh, a fully powered up uh, Sephiroth. I'll mention, mention that. Because I know one thing that a lot of people don't actually realise is you can actually fight Sephiroth at multiple different levels of strength. It's like there's actually a few different, different thing, things you can do to make him stronger. Which we will obviously be doing. And it's like his, uh, his strongest. It's still not really as bad as... Um, like the ruby weapon, for example, but it's still pretty, uh, pretty strong. Okay, so let's go save. Uh, let's go save Midgar. Somewhat. Like it's still gonna get shelled, but you know, you know, we'll, we'll save a bit of it. I tell you what, though, Midgar is definitely the most unlucky place in this game. Like, like it gets hammered, dude. dude. There's, there's Diamond. Literally right near where we are. And we're back in the ship. From where? Hey. The new weapon should stop him, right? Nah. Of course it won't. Don't you worry, not. Molly's in a safe place. She's with Eris's mom. Oh, I should be fine. When you load up check one reactor, how many do you think died? 
Yeah, but you killed plenty of children without that body. It's like, when you think about it, Barrett was really hypocritical. It's like, he does everything for Marlene, but how many children did he kill in that explosion? Right, let's go to Midgard then. Come on, guys. We got this. We got this. It's like, I don't worry, Sid. We're, we're gonna do it easy. We're gonna do it easy, buddy. It's like, we're gonna do it real easy. I'm not actually gonna bother with uh, the steel from Diamond Weapon, though. It's not really uh, worth it. It's only a rising sun. And we'll just, just, uh, we'll make Sid real angry. Yeah, let's just get off the, uh, the highway now. And then we'll just sort of wait here for him. Any day now, Diamond. I mean, you know, it's, it's not like, like we have things to do. You know, we don't have a plan to save and things like that. There we go. Yeah, uh, the steel from diamond weapon is a rising sun, so not really all that useful, to be honest. Ah, oh. I should have summoned, I think. Is he's immune to physical attacks. Okay, now we'll summon. We'll just do knives of the round. Because why not? It's like, why not? And then we'll mime out, actually, if uh, it's still alive. It shouldn't be, though, because Diamond Weapon only has about 30,000 health. So, realistically, this should kill it. Because, like, Knights of the Round typically does about 50 to 60,000. So, it should definitely be dead. And then we're going to get a, a ton of EXP and AP. Like, an absolute boatload. And we just mastered so much stuff. And now that we have got EXP plus as well, Cloud's level is still gonna like it's just gonna start flying past everyone else's. Bye, that diamond. I kind of wish we fought all the weapons. To be fair, though, not just diamond, ruby, ultimate, and emerald. I really, really wish we could have fought Sapphire as well. But no, Sapphire gets, gets, gets killed in a court scene. Mm, you know what? You, you guys want to run away? I'm just going to sit here, you know, like... Uh, I'll be fine when the cannon shoots, right? Something big. I'm talking really big's coming. Yeah, it's not big. big. Fire away! This is one of the cutscenes I'm really looking forward to in the remake when we finally get there as well. It's like, come on, guys, guys, it's a giant freaking gun just blasting a hole through a weapon. That, and it kind of destroys the barrier around North Korea as well. So you know it's going to be a real nice cutscene in the remake. It's going to be so good! So, so good! Oh yeah, an ultimate weapon will actually spawn after this. We can technically do ultimate weapon as well uh, on disc 2. But at the same time, there are chances you might not be able to do it on disc 2. So it's like, it can actually move over Midgar and over North Crater, which advances the story to the point where you can't actually continue doing it until you get to like disc 3. Maybe I'll... No, I, I think I'll leave Ultima for now, actually. I'll wait until this free. And everybody down below there was dead after that. One thing I don't get, though. Why do all the weapons have, like, rocket launchers on them? It's like the shoulder pads there just totally look like a rocket launcher, man. Totally look like it. Midgore! Don't worry, Marlene's fine. 
Moline isn't even a nipple. She's saying, she's saying, she's saying, calm now. Bye, Diamond. He's just standing there like, I got this, bro. It's like, it's like you can't hurt me. Man, those are some weird feet. It's like that right there, guys. That is the start of a uh, a hentai. It's like those feet totally look like tentacles, and we all know what the uh, the Japanese do with tentacles. Weapon been defeated. Bye, Rufus. I wonder if Rufus will actually stay alive or die in the remake. It's like, like we know some things get changed, so that, that that's going to be interesting. It's like, in the original, he technically lived, because you see him again in Advent Children, which takes place after. So I'm kind of curious whether they're going to keep him alive in the remake or not. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Okay, so first things first. Let's go take a look for Ultima. Yeah, there he is. There's Ultima. We're not gonna do him just yet. Though. We're gonna do him. Uh, we're gonna do him later. I think. Uh, first things first, though. Let's just get off the uh, airship. Oh wait, no. I need to go to North Crater actually, don't I? Hmm. Which is up here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. It's gone! Of course you can go anywhere. And now we learn who Kate Seth really is. It's Reeve! It must cool for three hours or it won't work. It's gonna blow up. And I wonder who's crazy enough to take control of it. Just you wait, Sephiroth. I'll give you all the macro you want. He gone crazy, guys. He gone crazy. He finally realized that his scientific knowledge is useless. Too late trying to hide it now. They, they've got a point though, to be fair. Like, why can't they actually remotely stop the reactors? It's like, they do have a point there. You know, that, that isn't really such a smart design philosophy. You know, it's like, to stop the reactors, it'll kind of cause them all to blow up. That seems like something they should have thought about when designing Midgar. Yeah, you can use a new weapon all you want, Scarlet. I'm still gonna crush it. Like, it's only a robot. I've already proved that robots can't do anything to me. Okay, so it's off to me. Go, go. Before that, though, one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly change my uh, material around. And uh, that's the right. Yeah, I'll keep all that on. Okay, so none of them actually mastered. Shame. Uh, that's mastered. None of that mastered. Okay. Uh, arrange. 
What else can I give? Mystify, I still need to do that. Do that. And then Sid. Who does not have nothing to eat either, either? Okay, now one thing I am going to do as well, I'm going to take Yuffie out of the party for Barrett. And the reason for that is we actually need Barrett in the party to get at his... Uh, well, to get his ultimate weapon coming up. Because you can't actually get it if Barrett is not in the party. And as for... Yeah, I'll just give him that. Why not? Why not? Alright, Materia. We'll just go ahead and uh, swap. Uh, Yuffie. To... Barrett. Where are you, Barrett? There you are. Okay. Nah, let's go. But yeah, I'm just going to use Barrett for Midgard just because... It's like, you can technically go in with any party and then, like, switch one in there, get his ultimate, and then switch back, but, I don't know, I consider that to be a, a bit of a hassle, to be honest. Anyway, let's go, go in. We're going to parachute. We're going to parachute. We don't need to slip in, we're just going to jump in. By the way, one thing you can actually, actually do here is you can actually control Cloud while you're parachuting. You can make him do a bunch of flips if you want. Okay, change your party members. No. We're just going in like this. Come on, guys. Go. And yeah, see, you can actually make a move to the left and the right, doing a bunch of barrel rolls if you want. I missed a cannon, no! I missed a cannon! Oh well. Oh well. Okay, so we actually have, have, have a few good things to get in Midgar as well. So, uh, let's go do it, shall we? Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm gonna save, though. I'm definitely gonna save. Oops, wrong one. I don't know why I keep, keep, keep doing that. Like, I keep on hitting the, uh, the first save slot. Okay. Let's go, let's go, go! Come on, Kate, so open it for me, buddy. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We got. We got to save the world right now. It's like we got to do it. This thing's first, though. We got to go get uh, all the treasure here. I'm gonna try to remember how to get all the tre treasure. Actually, not like that, though. Not like that. Hmm. I'll remember it eventually. Something tells me... Hmm. Well, there's the Starlight Phone. There's an Elixir. Um, how do I get to the... Hmm. Hmm. It's like, I'll get there eventually. There we go. There we go. Now I'm getting there. Now I'm getting there. See, it's like, you just gotta remember. Max Ray is actually a good weapon, if I remember rightly, for Barrett. No, it's only a normal. Damn. Damn. Well, let me on the ladder, then. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I can't actually get the you just on anymore, can I? Because the floor broke. Or can I get back over there? Can I? Hmm. I can't remember if I can or not, to be honest. I'm really sure I can. No, I don't think I can actually. No, no, I can't. 
damn, I've missed the Aegis Armlet. That's annoying. That's really, really annoying. But then again, I actually saved it just just didn't I? So we'll just uh, close and reopen it. Yeah, that was completely my fault. I was an idiot, man. I was an idiot. I was totally an idiot. I completely forgot about that floor breaking, to be fair. Alright. At least we made a save. At least we made a save. And then we'll just put the boosters back on for speed. Okay. Now we can get the Aegis arm look. Now we can get it. I really can't believe I went the wrong way like that, though. That's really embarrassing, man. Like, super embarrassing. Oh my god. And there we, we go. Aegis Armlet. So the Aegis Armlet is actually really, really good. Like, it's incredibly strong. I mean, to be fair, it's probably one of the um, the best arm armors in the game. Mainly due to the fact of... Uh, well, take a look at those stats, especially the uh, the evasion stats, which is magic defense percent and defense percent. That's really high evasion. That'll allow you to dodge quite a lot. It's like you'll probably be dodging half of the attacks in the game with that. Okay, now we can continue on, and now we just have to go get all the treasure at uh, the treasure chests we got before. At least it shouldn't take too long. Just a mini tool too. And there's the Starlight Phone, the Elixir, and now we just gotta go for the Max Ray. Oh, okay. Hmm. How do I get that chest? Uh... Hmm. How do I get that chest actually? I'm trying to remember. Ah, uh... oh, is that another one from the starting area? Let's take a look. It is as well, it's another one from the starting area. Well, it's only a Mega Elixir, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave that. Like, it's an Elixir and a Mega Elixir. At least it's nothing, like, too bad. Because I don't want to reload again. Anyway... Now that we're actually in the, um, like, the train tunnel, essentially, there are a few things we can do. You can basically uh, just go north. Or you can effectively go south. If you're going to go south, try and guard against confusion, though. Because uh, we're going to bump into the Turks. For the last and final time. And we're also going to get a W item. Wait a minute. Are you meant to go south or is it north? It's been so long, man. It's been so long. Uh... Huh... I'm fairly sure it's south. Fairly sure. We'll soon find out. In fact, I'm going to turn battles on. Because I still need um, some AP. Oh, and Sid got confused really. really. Oh, but yeah, I took the ribbon off Sid, didn't I? I mean, actually, did, did I take the ribbon off him? I can't remember if I did or not. No, actually, Sid should still have Ribbon on. I'm gonna have to check um, his gear, I think. So I'm fairly sure he should still have a Ribbon on. No, he's got Sprint Shoes. That, mean, that means yuffie has got my other Ribbon, then. Damn. Well, it's not, the, uh, it's not the end of the world, at least. Okay. Oh yeah, I should probably mention, um, in this area, like, it's actually possible to avoid the boss with Turks. 
It's like, like, in order to avoid the battle with him, you basically have to walk up to a specific pillar to the right, right, and then you basically just have to slowly edge your way around. But obviously we're, we're not going to do that because we want to steal the stuff. Okay. Grenade bomb! Nice! Finally another Lemmy Troll Barrett. So I can now change over to that and start working on another Lemmy Break. You know that? That's kind of funny, funny. Like, we're actually... Oh, hello Red. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, the cannon's not this way. It's alright though. It's alright though. But yeah, um, oh, well, what was I going to say? I've lost my train of thought. I completely lost my train of thought. Oh my god, what, 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 what was I going to say? I know I was on about something, but I can't remember what now. Oh man, well, I guess it must not have been that important. You know what they say, you never forget important things. So if you forget what you were going to say, it mustn't have been that important. Oh uh, wait, no, now I remember. I think actually getting everybody's limit breaks is probably gonna be the um, like the longest thing to do in this playthrough. Like just because of the amount of kills. Then again, actually, if I'm saying that, no, I can't combine it with doing um, thingy. I can't combine it with doing morphs because Yuffie has to morph them, so the others won't actually be able to get their kills. That's a shame. Oh wait, I skipped the Turks bar, didn't I? Because there's W item. I'm gonna have to go back. Why are you saying that? No, you have to go north anyway. So it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I am, however, going to equip W item here, which we're gonna get right now. We got W item. And the reason for that is we're going to do a little bit of the uh, the W item glitch. So we'll equip that. And then, item, arrange, type, and then custom. So we're going to put Mega Elixir there and Elixir there. So we'll, just, we'll just do that for now. Then we're going to save. You know what, I'm going to make a separate save, I think. Make a separate one. Right, Mega Elixir. Let's go! Dead end. Ah. Well, now time to go all the way back. Once we get into, into a random, random battle lag now, uh, we're gonna kill off two of these. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna just do that. Right, W item. And then we're just gonna do this. Now, look at my elixirs going up and up and up. Essentially, the way the uh, the W item glitch works is you can use two items at once. So, effectively, if I choose a mega elixir and then actually go to use it, and then use something else, but without confirming the second item use, press circle to cancel it, and it basically thinks you're, like, cancelling your original, so it gives you one back. Basically allowing us just to get 99 of all items. Now, this is the simple glitch for using, uh, well, basically for doing it on any items you can use in battle. There is, however, a way to change it a bit and effectively clone items you can't use in battle. We're not going to do it for that, though, because as far as I'm concerned, that's way more broken. So it's like it lets you max out like you like your stat sources and that real easy. And to me that sort of defeats the point of grinding. So obviously I'm not going to do to do that. Because we all know what a grinder I am. Right. So so so, so we now have everything we need. Okay, okay, and time and aggro Lexus. Which is enough. It's like we, we literally never have to worry about healing again now. Because we have them. And I did elixirs as well, basically for my pot pots later in the northern crater, because we're going to need some for that. I mean, obviously we're going to use the... Uh, in fact, I'm going to put no encounters back on, to be fair. Just make that a little bit faster. But yeah, when it comes to uh, northern crater, like, magic pots are going to be pretty good for leveling. Because, I mean, we've got to master all materia and get everybody up to level 99 anyway. 
Just for, like, 100% sake. Oh, oh, let's go beat the Turks. Come on, Turks, where you at? Actually, I need to put a steel on. Uh, who should I put it on? You know, I'm going to take W item off and I'll put steel on for now. Uh, steel, steel, steel. Steel. And I'm going to put on the Thief Glove as well, actually. The Sneak Glove for the increased stealing rate. Just to make life that little bit easier, you know? And there they are. But yeah, if you want to actually avoid the uh, the Turks, if you go like right over to, to the right of that middle column and then just slightly edge around it clockwise, uh, you can actually completely avoid the trigger line for the Turks just because that's actually positioned lower. So the more you know, you don't actually have to do this fight. Although technically there are two, two ways you can skip this. What are you doing? Let's go. So, because we did the Wutai side quest, like, way before this, we actually get to choose what we do. We can actually choose to skip this fight entirely by just choosing no, let's not. But we want to fight them anyway for the steals, so let's end this. And the reason we want to do that is for the steals, because we can get a tough ring from Reno. Let's just, uh, mug Reno. And, wait, did I steal it then? Uh, mine? And I should probably heal, actually. No clouds, Dad. Rip. Yeah, so I got the one from Reno, which is all right. And then we'll revive Cloud. Hmm. You know, I probably should have uh, actually used some proper items here. Well, some proper materia, maybe. I'm going to get a game over. I'm actually going to get a game over, I think. If I do, it's totally my own fault. It's gonna be totally my own, my own fault if I get a game over. It's like I'm not really using proper equipment, and I'm for sure not using proper materia. It's like I'm really effectively gimping myself with my current setup. Nope. That's game over. Okay, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll do this properly. We'll do this properly. It's like I'll just I'll just master the material later in Orphan Orphan Crater. Right. Let's continue. To be fair, that was just completely my own fault. Oh, I'm gonna have to max out my elixirs again. Yeah. Right, first things first, let's change the equipment over. Let's change that, that to an actual armor. Uh, yeah, we'll have the escort. Hmm. The dragon, and we'll have. Um, we'll have the bolt armlet, I think. No, no, we'll have the Aegis. No, actually, we'll have the Imperial. Because it's more slots. Okay. And then. We'll give everybody a HP plus. That's like, that is definitely the uh, the biggest reason I lost that, just because I didn't have enough HP. Oh, Barrett has one, actually. Cloud doesn't know. Cloud doesn't. Uh, HP plus. And we'll give... Hmm. And there's one more. So... Maybe I'll just give enemy. Yeah, I'll just give him enemy skill actually. Might as well. It's no big deal. And they all have proper armors now as well, so I'm going to be taking much less damage. And I'll turn uh, no encounters off just to get another battle. Right. W item. And now we just max out Mega Alexis again. Ay, ay, ay. I really can't believe I got so cocky, man. It's like, that was, like, that death was just pure cockiness on my part. Like, I really can't say anything about that death. It was 100% my own fault. Alright, so let's actually just use my Elixir's heal, 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 barrack and attack, and then Cloud can start working on normal Elixir's. 
Like, I'm gonna need a lot of normal elixirs just for the magic pots. And that'll basically just be because of mastering all the materia and leveling up and that. And to be fair, I suppose I could just uh, stop now. But with how close I am to 99, I might as well just carry on. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Oh, I need to give Cloud and Mog again, don't I? I'm gonna put it on weight as well, actually, instead of active. Because that definitely cost me as well. well okay, config. Wait. Okay, that's just gonna make life so much easier. And give me Mog again. Mm, Mog. And give him the Thief Gloves. Oops, wrong one. And there we go, Sneak Love. Okay. So now we're effectively set for getting the free steals. Because we can get a Tough Ring from Reno. We can get a Third Zaydrik from Rude. And we can get a Minerva Band from Elena. All three are pretty damn good, to be fair. So obviously we want to get them. I think it's one more screen now. It should be the one. Yeah, this is the one. They're here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. It's alright though, you can't do anything to me. You're right. We got work to do. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's end this. It's, like, it's payback time. It's payback time. In fact, is that, is that the only game over I've had in this play playthrough? Like, I think it might be, to be fair. Yeah, I'll just get cloud stealing and uh, simid mugging, I think. Okay, there's the maneuver band. We'll mug on rude. I'll get Barrett to use a mega elixir just so no one dies. There's the uh, Z Dreek. So I just need the tough ring now. And Reno. Oh, please don't get con con confused. Okay, thank God for that. Alright, come on, Cloud. Come on, come on, buddy. Just mug him. Just mug him. There we go, tough ring. Okay, now one other thing I should mention is this battle actually ends once you defeat any one of the two. However, you only actually gain, like, EXP, AP, and Gil for the amount you actually defeat. So if you want to get the full amount from this battle, you actually have to kill all three at once. And that's why I'm gonna use Knight of the Round instead of like Omni Slash or something like that. Just because that guarantees that all three are dying and I get, get the maximum reward possible from the fight. Just one of them things that's the more you know. Okay. Man, come on. Come on, buddy. Just slash him. Just slash him. G. G. It was as easy as one, two, three. There we go. There we go. We got the full reward. Ooh, I've uh, mastered Mystify. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, let's get that Mystify changed over. Uh, what more should catch, actually? Um... Uh, Hmm. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually done with magic then, it seems. In that case, we, we will start sticking on the um, the yellow command material and start working on that. So we need to get all that mastered as well for uh, that master material too. And then what can I give Sid? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just give him Hades to start working on that, that, that too. Right, let's go. Now, typically you are meant to go left here. We're not going to do that though. Instead, we're going to go right. Because to the right is where Midgar is. And we can actually go back to Midgar for a, um, a few little thing, 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 things. Okay, now here at the next intersection, we can go right again. That's a dead end. We don't want to do that. We want to go left. And then up this ladder. And then we're going to Midgar. And this will allow us to get uh, Kate Seth's ultimate weapon, as well as a exclusively hidden weapon for Red. 
so, so let's do that. So we're going to get the one for red first, which actually involves us going all the way up these stairs again. So let's just, just do it, shall we? Because, because why not? Okay, what, what a man. I'm, I'm so glad this is so much quicker on this version of the game than it is on the remake. It's like, like I did it on the remake and no joke, it took like half an hour. It is just so damn annoying on doing this on the remake. Wait a minute, what? Where's my behemoth one? That's... Wait, did I miss it? Uh, that's really, really weird, actually. Maybe I miss it. Oh, maybe I need red in the party? Maybe I need red in the party for it. Oh, I'll try that. I could have swore you don't need him in the party, though. Hmm. No, I can't see it anywhere. Maybe I do need him in the party. Well, I can easily change him. Ah, there he says. The Behemoth Horn. And, th and that's a weapon for red. That is also the only way you can get that weapon. You can also only get it right this time. Because it's like you can never actually come to Shinra again after you do this Midgar section. So definitely make sure you get it because it is 100% missable. Which is not nice. Also, if you missed the elixir, uh, like way back at the start of the game for climbing the stairs, you can also get that now as well. And I'm kind of gutted they didn't put anything in the remake for going up the stairs. Definitely uh, gutted about that. Now we just got to go all the way down because we need to go visit the uh, the shop in uh, the Shinra HQ. Oops! I got stuck. I got stuck. Oh, oh man! How many more stairs is there? There's too many stairs. There we go. Oh yeah, uh, another missable is the um, Turtle Paradise Flyer. If you didn't get that at the start of the game, which honestly you really, really should have done, um, you can also get it now. However, this is the final, final chance you have of actually getting it. So make sure you get it. But now we can unlock uh, these two treasure chests. We can also sort of come in here for no random reason, but uh, you know, just one of those little things that you might like to know. And anywho, let's carry on up. Uh, wait, no, I want the glass elevator, not the normal ones. Because we're going to get Kate Sif's ultimate weapon soon. Alright, I want floor 63 first. Right, there's only really things worthwhile on 63 and 64. So we get the glow lamp here. And then we can go up to 64. Oops, let me out. Then in 64, there's actually two things you can do. So you can... Let's move on because we don't want to rest. You can interact with the vending machine here. Wait, what? what? Cool. Okay, maybe it's the one inside the uh, the gym. Is it broken? Bang it! And we get some saucies for it. Okay, and then we want to interact with the uh, the locker for the HP Shout, which is Kate Sif's ultimate weapon. Once we have that, um, like we, we can't really do anything else here, unfortunately. It's like we can access some of the higher floors, but there's not really any point in that because there's nothing on them. So for now, let's just uh, let's leave. Let's leave. Because we've got to go all the way back to the sewer we were at before. Because it's now time for another boss rush. Well, I say, I say boss rush, there's like two, two bosses, although technically there's four, I guess. Hey Tifa, how you doing? Come on girl, move it. Move it. And now we want to go left. And we're going to have a boss coming up. So let's go. Say hello to the proud Claude, everybody. Now, proud Claude, unfortunately, does not have any steals. It does have a good drop, though. 
Like, it will actually drop the uh, the Ragnarok. Oh, I'm fucking loud, loud, loud. Pretty good weapon as well, I might add. But, uh, well, we're not going to use it. Instead, though, we are going to uh, absolutely murder the Proud Clod with the true ultimate weapon, Knights of the Round. Because we can. And we'll mime it, just, uh, just in case. Although Pro Proud Clod only has, I think, 50 or 60,000 60, health. So it should definitely still die. So I sure didn't need to uh, mime it. Mm, no, I didn't need to mime it. Nice! Very nice! And there's the Ragnarok. And coming up, we're going to have uh, Barret's ultimate weapon as well. Which I think... Oh wait, no, no I still need Cloud's uh, last weapon. Uh, first things first, though, let's just heal up with the Mega Elixirs we just got 99 of. Uh, let's see, Rag Ragnarok. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's good damage, but it's only, only more normal. In fact, that's... Eh, we're not, we're not going to use it, though. I prefer my triple growth. So, I mean, Knights of the Round's going to take a lot. And we have an Elixir and a Mistile. Oh, it was the Mistile that was the, uh, the best armor. Not the uh, previous one. This is the one with insane dodge. It's like 60 magic and 50 defense. And then pretty good defense normally anyway, so I'm going to equip that. You can actually get more of them as well later. But you kind of have to abuse a glitch if you want to get multiple of them. We're not going to do that though. We're not going to do that. It's like W item is the only quote unquote glitch I'm going to use in this game. And even then, I'm not actually going to abuse that to its fullest. Okay, so at this part here, make sure you have Barrett in the party. Like, that is 110% something you need to do. Because we need Barrett in the party to get this tra uh, this chest here. Which is the missing score. A.K.A. Barrett's ultimate weapon. Now, at this point, we can go back down and take Barrett out of the party. If you really, really want to. But I'm not going to do that. Just because there's no real point to be honest. It's like, like I'm just gonna use Cloud tonight to the random Hojo anyway. So every time I see you it pains me. You know what's funny? Like in the original, Hojo's really disappointed in Cloud, like throughout the entire game. Bro, in the remake, he's actually quite proud. Like like that's a really big change, I think. It kinda lends me to think, think that Hojo might play a bigger role in the remake. He knows you're his father, dog. It's okay. We, we all know you're crazy, Hojo. You don't. You don't need to try and uh, try and convince us of how crazy you are. Oh yeah, I should probably mention actually, uh, there is a slightly secret cutscene uh, coming up. Uh, basically, uh, in fact, no, we're, we're just gonna, we'll, yeah, we'll only slash actually. Uh, um, so basically, there's a optional little cutscene coming up with Tifa, and if her value is over 50, like her fact action value is over 50, there will actually be um, like a small dialogue change in a cutscene coming up. Like the cutscene where Tifa and Cloud are below the airship. If her affection value is above 50, that cutscene is slightly different. Although I don't actually know what her affection value is in this save. Cause, I mean, obviously I took that um, big long break to do the remake on that. So I can't actually remember what I was doing for her. I suppose we'll soon see in the cutscene now. We'll soon see. And we're just... Ah, oh, no, yeah, it's only level 1, so I can't actually spam it. Whoopsie daisy. I pro 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 probably should have saved that for the final form. Probably would have been better. Oh, wait, no, actually, I could have just mined it. Oh, I'm an idiot. 
I'm an idiot, man. I could have mime mimed it. Then again, actually, I still have the other summons as well. So I'll use them too. And then I'll mime, actually. Oh, what summons does Sid have? Oh, yeah, it's Hades. Uh, that's kind of pointless for this fight. Yeah, you Bahama, you just blow everything up for me, buddy. And we'll mime. Hmm, Sid might die. But I can't use a Mega Elixir, because if I do, then Sid will start miming that instead. Well, if he does die, I'll just die, I think. And then I'll have to have a slow fight against the final form of Hojo. One more. There we go. Come on, Sid. Mime it, buddy. Mime it. Okay, he died. Rip. Let's get him back up. Let's get him back up. Let's get him back up. And then we'll Mega Elixir. Nope. Okay, he's dead again. Come on, Sid. Come on, buddy. It's like, come on, buddy. Alright, enemy skill. Let's put Big Guard up. Mm. Oops, two times cost. Magic, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use flare. Why not? Why not? Mime it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just use wire and I guess. Actually, doesn't Comet do more damage than flare? I think it does. No. No, it does not. Or was it random again? Uh, see, I really can't remember so much about magic in this game. It's like I never use magic at all. No, oh, we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and use flare again. Should take too long on that now though, because I mean Cloud's still doing pretty decent damage, or he was anyway. Oh, I got put to sleep. Rip! I forgot to take the uh, thief glove off him. Well, the sneak love in this game. Ooh, gravity got mastered. Nothing else, though. Damn. I, I was hoping something else would get mastered, too. That's the end of the cannon. Yeah, but Hojo kind of set something up, though. Meteor's gonna fall in about... T minus 10 seconds. I want to see everybody, man. It's alright, Cloud. Nobody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna live. We're gonna save the planet, bro. You should know that by now. This is a personal feud. I want to beat Sarah off and sit on my past. Yeah, it's like Cloud, Cloud just doesn't care about the planet, guys. He's only in it for himself. He's only in it for himself. You're right. But how was he right, man? How was he right? Oh yeah, I wonder how many of you guys actually know about the um, the Easter egg in Northern Crater. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We are uh, like there's um there's a little Easter egg involving the uh, the save point in North Crater, and leave a comment down below if you know what the Easter egg is. Like I'm really curious how many of you actually know that. Because like, if if lots of you know know it, then I won't actually do it because I'd rather use the save point somewhere else. But if uh, if hardly any of you know it, then I might actually show it off because it's kind of it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. We're not gonna go there just yet. It's like we're not gonna go to the northern crater yet. There's still a few things we need to do. 
It's like we could go down and get a load of the stuff, but I'm gonna do that after I get Cloud's ultimate weapon. Because once I go down to Northern Crater, I'm gonna stay down there until I've mastered the materia. Now once I've got, I've got the materia mastered, I'm gonna come back up, back up, back up, get master materia, and then I will be getting. Um, well, I'll be doing my stat max. Then again, then again, maybe I should stat max before that. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I should probably stat max before that because I can still earn AP while stat maxing, can't I? Yeah, I'll, I'll stat max before that, I think. Come on, Cloud, just confess to her, bro. Be a man. And there we go, T Tifa's telling him to, to use actions, man. Tifa's telling him to use actions to conve convey his, his feelings. And there we go. In the morning after. And everybody is secretly watching. They're all totally watching from the airship, man. Let's go save the planet then! Oh, maybe later. Maybe later. It's like, we're not going to save the planet just yet. It's like, we still got some things to do. The airship's being stolen. Hey, everybody. We're off to save the world! Everybody's here! Oh, Tifa's all embarrassed! Don't worry, Tifa. They, they won't hold it against you. That's gonna be a funny cutscene in the remake. That's definitely gonna be a funny cutscene. Don't you want me to come? Nah, that's cool, bro. That's cool. And just you feel to go, man. man. Where is the ninja? I got Barristar. She didn't stop in Tearia, so it's all good, good. It's like she's just waiting to steal the material later after we save the world, man. It's like, come on, you should know this by now, by now, buddy. You should totally know this by now. And there's Aerith's theme. <laughs> oh man, poor, poor Aerith. Gone but never forgotten. Yeah, we, we gotta protect that smile. Alright, I wonder what optional stuff I've got left to do actually. I've gotta do ultimate weapon. And I've got to do the special battle challenge. Uh, I think that, that, that's it, actually. Other than, like, Emerald and Ruby. Yeah, I think those are the only real things left for me to do, actually. So. Not long to go now, guys. Not long to go. And we got the super-powered airship, bro! 
It really makes me question why the airship wasn't like that to begin with, though. Like, it really makes me question, why would they willingly have a slow, slow airship? No, I say we're all gonna stick it to him, buddy. Yeah, go home, flunkies. End of part two. Save the game to this point? Yes. Of course. Of course. And now we're on disc three. The final disc. The final stretch. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Like, I'm not gonna go down there. If I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go get the item. I'm gonna go get the save point, I think. Might as well get it while I'm here, after all. Looks, looks like we can only slide down. Alright, let's go. Let's go. It's like, let, let's go. Let's go. It's like, we're only gonna get the, uh, the save crystal, and then we're gonna leave. It's like, I'll go down and uh, do that over stuff later. I definitely want to get Cloud's ultimate weapon to this, though, for sure. Everyone's waiting for you. I know they are. I, I know they are. Alright, Barrett and Sid. I'm going to take Barrett's accessory and that off him in a moment. Oh, oh. And then I'll, uh, I'll change the party around again, because I'm going to put Yuffie back in. It's like, I, I need Yuffie for the stat maxing. And that is arguably the most important f f thing left for me to do. Right, so, ultimate weapons over here somewhere. There it is. However, guys, I'm afraid to say all, that, all that's going to be in the next part. Because I'm going to end this one right here. Still, though, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And, of course, if you are new to the, to the channel, then make sure, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As always, 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 everybody, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.